What's up, dude? Oh, uh. <laughs> uh, well, look what we got in the mail. Challenge targets. I like Brad. He's a nice guy. Now, I do purchase these. He does give me a bit of a discount uh, for making the videos, but I still like their products. And uh, we're gonna open this one up and see exactly what it is. I think it's got a, a hostage. I think it's got a plate and then a hostage target. But I have my new Spider Co. I think this is the Ambitious. But um, I've noticed that I've had it for about a week now. I've noticed that um, I haven't taken the clip off yet. I can't stand the clips. But um, I've noticed that the build quality on the Spider Co's, it, their cheaper models, seems to be a little bit lighter weight or not as good as the Kershaw cheap models. Now I'm not trying to start some kind of war between Spider Co and Kershaw, but I've just you can tell by the feel of it, you know. But it's extra sharp and it has a point on it, unlike my Kershaw, which I broke off. Barry, you know what I'm gonna do? You know, you know what my first Kickstarter project's gonna be? What's that, Is inventing something to replace this these crappy things. Uh -huh. but, I, but I hate these things. I hate peanuts and these things. Ah, they get everywhere. And if the wind was blowing, they would just be sailing away into the yard. We'd have to go out and pick them up. Anyway, that's not a reflection on challenge targets because everybody uses them. But Jesus, I wish somebody would invent something. I like the little uh, uh, air packet, plastic air packet things. Don't you hear the ones that have the little air pockets in them? So there's something. Except the stake that goes in the ground. What else is in here? It's kind of fun digging around though, isn't it? That is the part that holds the two before or, or the two before goes up into. There's a, looks like part of the part of it. <laughs> I see they're getting away already. Dang it. I remember now having to put this stuff together, don't you bear it? There's a plate. All right, so we got it all out of the box and got the crazy peanuts cleaned up. This is basically what it looks like. Now what, what I'm going to do is actually rig this up so it's on one of the stands. I have a stand, I'm one of the heavy duty stands. I'll put a picture of it over here somewhere. And so I won't be driving this into the ground. Um, this is, uh, is kind of cool if you had like a permanent for me, if I had a permanent location, I would use the stake. But um, the, we've got such hard ground, don't we, Barrett? Out at the range, it's like concrete, it's chert, Tennessee chert. And trying to drive this in the ground, even if you could get it in the ground, it wouldn't stay very well. So we're gonna use one of the other stands that we've got from Challenge Targets and rig this up. The only other thing I can see is uh, Gonna be these are heavy, I say you are 500 or whatever uh, steel, these are super heavy. We can only put our targets at 25 yards, we can that's as close as we can put them, and that's why I'm trying to find another place near Chattanooga to shoot because um, it's heavy. That sucker's heavy 25 yards. I'd probably have to take the 1911 to it. <laughs> I'm not sure the Glock 42 would knock it around, but we're gonna try it out. That'll be our next video with these. We're gonna have all of our challenge targets out at the range and uh, we're gonna be shooting them. So 
thanks a lot Brad and uh, the next time you see uh, this we will be shooting it so Barrett lost the string so he can't do the outro <laughs> what's the E string Pretty good for a loot for a missing a string. <laughs> yep. <laughs>